Hi, this will be a very quick, hopefully, start for JMeter. We're going to create a load test from scratch. Here's a quick view of the JMeter directory when you download it. Uh, so you just go under bin, and if you're on a Linux or Unix machine, you might have to make these files executable. And you just want to execute jmeter.sh or jmeter.bat which should then give you this window. So this, what we're going to do is add to our test plan element and I'm not going to explain what all these elements are necessarily. Um, suffice it to say if you just use these it'll it'll work and then you can always delve more into the documentation obviously. So we're going to add a thread group and then we're going to go ahead and add a logic controller. Let's see, logic controller, simple controller. Um, the reason to do this is because when we generate things, it'll be handy to have them grouped under here. Alrighty. So now we're going to add our proxy, non test element HTT proxy. And this is essentially our recorder. So this is going to record our actions in the browser and then it's going to uh, send them here where we can replay them later. So I'm going to change this port to 9090 because if you're using Java, every default port is 8080, pretty much. But other than that, um, we're just going to set the target controller to this simple controller. That just means where will things get spit out. All right, scroll down here to the bottom, and we're going to click the Start button. And now we're going to switch over to Firefox or your browser of choice. So what, what I need to do here quickly is just um, under Network Settings, need to go to settings and make the proxy configuration such that it's localhost to port 9090 to match. So basically this will send all the requests through the proxy which will then hit the internet and record everything in between. Alrighty, so we just hit escape. We're all set there. Now what I'm going to do is just refresh this page but I'm actually going to move it over here a little bit so we can see in the process the request getting created as it comes back. Oh, and what I need to do is uh, expand the simple controller. Let me go ahead and do that again just so you can see them request uh, them created on the fly. There we are. So let's switch back here. We're going to stop our proxy. Now the next thing we're going to do is replay this and measure it. Um, so first we're going to go to thread group. So we're going to do five threads. We're going to ramp up to all of them in say 10 seconds and let's loop twice. So what it's going to do is just replay those requests uh, twice uh, in five threads during a ramp up period of 10 seconds obviously. Um, the other thing we need we want to do here is we want to add a timer. The reason so let's add this Gaussian timer. Where did that go? Whoops! Timers. There we are. And because uh, what will happen is when JMeter tries to replay this it will replay it instantly and if you don't have the timer in there um, it, it can it can flood the network in an unrealistic way and this this at least puts a pause between these requests so it's only it's only 300 uh, milliseconds alrighty so the last thing we need to do is add some listeners which will let us actually see the data so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna add them this is a little trick I'm gonna add them down here so statistical aggregate report that's the main one um, it's actually a separate module you just have to download it and then copy the files into your JMeter distribution View results tree, the reason to do that is because you want to be able to see the results uh, and be sure that they are indeed what you think, and then review results in table. So um, these are in the workbench. I've only got a minute left here, so I might run out of time for the next video. Um, but basically what you want to do, if you put those down here, you can then copy and paste them up to here, which is very handy because if you run this multiple times, you'll want to reset it. All right, so we're ready to go. Let's go and click start. And we're going to, it says we should save it. Let's not save it right now. Let's go ahead and watch this statistical aggregate report as it's, it's running here. There we are. And this is actually a very, very short test. So we're not going to have a whole lot of data. Um, and these lines aren't going to be very smooth. And up here in the upper right hand corner, you can see the threads. Uh, we had five threads and now they're, they ramped up and now they're running down. There we are. So we've created a test and run it and capture the statistics and now we can analyze these. Oh, and in the result tree um, you can see everything was successful. This is important because you want to be sure that you're not just hitting some login page. Alright, I'm out of time. Thanks.